She's just not even responding. She's just been laying here. She's been sleeping all day long, and mm -hmm. um, she made some kind of weird noises in her throat, mm -hmm. and just really scared me. Yeah, I understand. So what I understand you to say is that over the past few days, that she's been weaker, yeah. and that she's been sleeping more, although she's had periods when she's been awake, and mm -hmm. she's been able to eat and drink a little bit, yeah. and take her medicines but the day that you haven't been able to wake her up. And her hand, I mean, her hand has just been like really cold. Well, I noticed the changes in her hands too. Mm -hmm. um, I noticed they're more cool mm -hmm. and they're a little bluish. Um, when I feel her pulse, it's quite weak. Mm -hmm. It's very thready. And when I watch her breathe, I see that it's very shallow. Mm -hmm. You notice it's just very gentle. Mm -hmm. So I think what I'd like to do is examine her and then maybe you and I can, and Maureen can talk about what I think is going on in the living room. Would that be all right? Okay. Well, Melissa, Maureen and I came over because of the changes in your mother. You know, Maureen's mm -hmm. been your hospice nurse for the last several weeks. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering what you're making of what we're seeing with your mother today. I don't know. I feel kind of confused because mm -hmm. I thought that she would just keep going on the way she has been, but now she really seems different, like mm -hmm. things aren't right. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of worried, you know, if if she can't eat, then she's going to just get worse, and I don't want her to just get worse. So, I mean, maybe we need to give her, you know, an IV or something like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We could do an IV, mm -hmm. but I don't think it would make her better. I thought maybe you would say something like that. Did you? Melissa, I'm afraid your mother's dying. I'm not sure exactly, but she may be dying in a day or two. Like that soon? It could be. So no matter what we do now, it's not going to help? No, I don't think anything we can do can stop her from dying. With the changes that we're seeing today, the changes in her breathing, the changes in her hands, makes me think that our body is shutting down. What can I do to help her? Well, I think it's important for you to remember that there's a lot of things that you can do for her. And okay. some of them you've already been doing. You've been keeping her mouth clean with the swabs that you've been using. Mm -hmm. And you've been making sure that her skin stays clean and dry. Mm -hmm. And you're going to continue to do those things. Mm -hmm. You can turn her on her side and put a pillow at her back for some support, mm -hmm. and that will help some of the secretions that you've been hearing in her throat drain out. So I, th I think it's important for you to know that you're doing all the right stuff. Okay. I thought that I would have more time with her or something, I guess. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's why many people feel it's never the right time. Yeah. As Maureen said, you've been taking a wonderful job taking care of her. Mm -hmm. As you know, she said that she wanted to be comfortable, and she wanted to die in her own home, in her own bed, and you're helping her do that. Is she in any pain? I don't see any signs of pain. Okay. I think if she is, if she seems like she's in pain, if she's grimacing, um, you can still give her some of the liquid pain medicine just inside her mouth, okay. inside her cheek. Will people help me with this? Well, I can contact the social worker at hospice, and he can make some phone calls, and we can certainly get some caregivers in here to help you out. That way you can just continue to be her daughter, mm -hmm. loving her and not giving her 24-hour care. Okay. So I agree with Maureen. There are many things that we can do for her right now. I think she can hear you. I think she mm -hmm. can feel your touch. Mm -hmm. Most people are afraid of dying alone and dying in pain. I think you can assure that neither of those things happen to your mother. That's a lot. Okay. What other questions do you have for us? I guess you just to know that you'll be there. I may not be able to see your mother again before she dies. 
you can certainly get me by phone and Maureen can get me by phone. But the hospice team is going to be able to be here to help you and your family through this. I'll be sure to give you a call and so we can follow up. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm.